When we were nine, they started testing us. They called it the pre-crime program. One of the spattering of big screen derivatives coming to the small screen this season. Minority Report? Well, it's nothing to write home about. Take away the legacy of the 2002 Steven Spielberg film adapted from a Philip K. Dick story and the tech bells and whistles, and you basically have a connect the dots drama masquerading as a creaky procedural, which is going to have a hard time breaking through in this upcoming TV season. Debuting on September 21st, right after the season two premiere of Gotham, and up against the season two opener of Scorpion on CBS, and the second hour of the new season of The Boys on NBC, Minority Report is very much in the underdog position programming-wise. Now maybe Fox bosses are hoping to build a detective night on Mondays. And to that end, I say, hope springs eternal. I still see things before they happen, but all I ever see are flashes. Never quite enough for a complete picture. With selfies and sketchbooks as narrative devices, a Simpson cameo of sorts, Tinder throwback one-liners, this Spielberg EP'd version of Minority Report is supposed to take place just over 10 years after the big screen version ended, with the pre-crime prediction system now a relic of a now idealized age of near zero crime. A buddy cop show set in the Washington DC of 2065 leads Stark Sands as precog Dash and Megan Good as DC cop Laura Vega. Well, unfortunately, they just have no chemistry. In the leaked pilot, which was illegally posted online last month, everything is over-explained and over the top, with visions projected on walls and same old, same old lines like, you have no idea what's coming, and no one hacks my database. Really, the biggest problem here in Minority Report is that there are no stakes in what should be a high-stakes drama, raising issues of the surveillance society, for instance. Predictable and surprisingly plotting, the pilot of this 20th Century Fox TV, Paramount TV, and Amblin produced series reminded me both of, of how long ago the 2002 film was and just how good Tom Cruise, Colin Farrell, and director Steven Spielberg were. There's a line in the pilot of Minority Report that says, Now all we do is mop up messes. Well, from what I've seen, they didn't do a good enough job with this series. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.